everybody, Erica Serwin here, and I've got a new tutorial for you. It's a little back to school treat, or it could be just a fun teacher treat. Inside are my very favorite hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works. I saw these um, last week uh, while I was in, and I thought, oh, I've got to make something with those. They're so cute. All right, so let's make this. It's very uh, quick and easy. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock, one and three fourths by ten, and I have scored it at four and a half and five and a half. And we're going to put those pencil lines, um, not pencil lines, but the the little grooves on the edge that that you see on pencils. And we're just going to do like a, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch line, starting at a quarter and a half. Three quarters, one, one and a fourth, and one and a half. That that gives the effect of those cute little, um, you know, the edges of the pencil. I can't think of the word, but the little, you know, how it's not completely round. All right, now to make this point, we're going to. You need a ruler, and we're going to draw a little. We're going to make a little tiny dot at the seven eighths mark. So if I can do it without sticking my head in the camera, make sure I get the right one. Let's see, right here. And then I'm going to make a mark at about, let's see. I know I'm saying about because I didn't write this part down, but I can eyeball it. One inch on that side and one inch. So we're measuring one inch from the end right here. Now we're going to take our ruler and draw a straight line from that top point to that bottom point. And you can use your paper trimmer to do this, or if you have a steady hand, just take your scissors and cut. Now we want to make it exactly the same on this side, so I'm just going to put this up here and snip it like that. All right, now we need to do the, the wood part of the pencil. And so this piece is one and three fourths by one and a half. And the first thing I'm gonna do is cut some little triangles out of the, the bottom side. And you they probably should be different this is from sharpening your pencil. You don't want them to all be uniform. That's why I'm just kind of eyeballing it and going for it with my scissors because there really is no wrong way. You want them to look a little bit jaggedy and not perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Fast Fuse and we're gonna line this up right here. And now I'm going to flip it over and match it up and just trim it off. Okay, next we need a little black lead tip. So we're going to take a piece of that basic black. It's just a scrap. I don't even know the size of it, but just put a little scrap on there and trim it off also. And there you have your pencil. All right, so now let's make the belly band that's gonna hold this together. You need a piece of Flirty Flamingo that is one by six inches and a piece of silver cardstock that is one fourth by six. And I'm gonna put some fast fuse on here and put this down on here like that. All right, can you see how this is becoming the eraser? All right, put it in your Simply Scored, and we're going to score it at, let me make sure I get the measurements right, a half inch, and then two and a fourth, three and a fourth, and five. I didn't score it until I had them both on there. That way we know they'll be exactly exactly the same they're going to line up perfectly so let's fold all that in and we're going to take this little short end and adhere it behind here so fast fuse 
or tear and tape is what you want to use on this kind of project. Snail will not hold your 3D projects together. All right, so got, we've got that. Now we're going to take this and let me take the sand. Oh, here it is. I have, I knew I had two of them. Put that down in there like that and take your belly band with the silver side down and push it all the way down. Now, if you wanted to, you could adhere that, but it's tight enough. It's snug. It's going to, it's not going to move. Now to hold it together up here, I just took one of our really pretty gold binder clips and I'm going to just pinch that right there on the side. Now I always like to use the Happy New Year stamp for back to school because as a teacher, the beginning of the year is your new year. It is a big deal. So I use this from Teeny Tiny Wishes and I'm stamping it in real red and I'm going to punch it out with this new I believe it's called Modern Label Punch. Let's see if I can get it there. It. And I chose red because red's a primary color. Let's move this down. I don't want that to cover that up. Red is a primary color. You know what, actually, I did do that a little bit different. I did adhere this at the very top. I remember now why I did that. Because this, if you put it, if you try to pinch it down too low, it makes it look funny. So we're just going to slide that in on the side like that. And these will slide right out. There's no need for that to be open. Anyways, I chose red for the ink because that's a primary color. And I feel like that's a good teacher back to school color. All right, some real red satin ribbon. Make a bow. Keep it loose in the middle and then tighten. Snip these edges so that they're at an angle. And just get a glue dot. And put that right there on that gold clip. And there you have a sweet little back to school treat for the teachers. They always need hand sanitizer. All right, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you like it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.